Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Up you wake, up you wake, up you wake, up you wake! Hi, my name is João, and today I'm going to talk about the movie Do the Right Thing and its message about racism and social inequality. It's hard to imagine a movie that is as relevant to modern times as Do the Right Thing is. Launched in 1989, it remains relevant to this day because of its original approach to issues such as racism and social inequality. And in order to start, I would like to talk about heat. Yes, heat. Heat is used in many films to indicate tension between the characters, or even a certain kind of hostile environment portrayed throughout the story. This tool is clearly used in Do the Right Thing where the characters are sweating in practically every scene and the film's orange tone embodies this feeling of discomfort caused by the heat, that is, by the conflicts. Set in a poor neighborhood in 1989's Brooklyn, the film portrays the situation of a community permeated by economic, cultural and racial tensions. Its director, Spike Lee, came up with the idea of making this film after an incident involving a young black man in an Italian pizzeria a sort of fuse for a series of protests to come. Because of this, there is actually an Italian pizzeria in a movie, and that's where most of the scenes take place. Sal, the owner of the pizzeria, represents the oppression that the black community suffers from the power that is in the hands of the majority of whites. And this becomes very clear when we see that as much as Sal owes all his success to his customers that are mostly black, he denies putting any picture of a black man important to history on his wall of fame. Yo, Mook! Okay. Mookie! So what? How come you got no brothers up on the wall? Man, ask Sal, right? Hey, hey, Sal, how come you got no brothers up on the wall here? You want brothers on the wall? Get your own place. You can do what you want to do. You can put your brothers and uncles and nieces and nephews, your stepfather, stepmother, whoever you want. You see? But this is my pizzeria. American Italians on the wall only. Take it easy, man. Huh? And you, hey, don't stop me. Yeah, that might be fine, Sal, but uh, you, you own this. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. All I see is black folks. So since we spend much money here, we do have some set. Thus, one of the main points portrayed in a film is this growing tension that exists between members of the community, between whites, blacks and Latinos, but mainly between whites and blacks in general. So there is this feeling that a bomb is about to explode, that at some point, People are not going to take the situation as it is. The film spares no effort when it comes to presenting as clearly as possible the harsh reality of racism in the United States. Interesting to note that this film is not only brilliant for its message, but also for the performances that are simply flawless. My cocksucker! I'll fucking tear your fucking nigger ass! Nigger, 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 nigger. As I said before, the heat symbolizes the oppression that black people suffered on, and suffer because of structural racism that existed and exists in modern society. The film's soundtrack, Fight the Power, is a direct reference to the fact that society as we know it operates on the logic that those who have power can only become more powerful and therefore the situation of the poorest will not change much while that same system is standing. This situation only gets worse when talking about the black community, which has suffered from racism and social inequality for over 500 years in the Americas, and even more in Europe. I would, like, I would also like to address another point about the movie, which is the character Radio Rahim. See, Radio Rahim likes to walk around the neighborhood with his radio on the song Fight the Power, 
which is the main message of the film. Not coincidentally, Radio Rahim is killed by police brutality at the end of the movie. He is killed by the same power that he was fighting against. Not that the police itself is the power, but it does represent this force which is only driven by hatred in so many occasions. I will finish this video with my favorite scene from this movie and what I believe to be a message of hope for our times. Hey, it was with this hand that Cain iced his brother. Love. These five fingers, they go straight to the soul of man. The right hand, the hand of love. The story of life is this. Static. One hand is always fighting the other hand. And the left hand is kicking much I mean, it looks like the right hand love is finished. But hold on, stop the presses. The right hand's coming back. Yeah, he got the left hand on the ropes now. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, it's a devastating right and hate is hurt. He's down. Ooh, ooh, left hand hate KO'd by love. If I love you, I love you.